Whew, we made it. Five and a half miles down Eola Road is the Warriors' home base, Wabonzi Valley. Being the oldest of the three Valley schools, the NSW team had a ton to pull from for these top 10 moments. What better way to start the countdown with the lights on Friday night? The Wabonzi Valley football team has been under Paul Murphy's direction for 14 years. And in 2015, we get our number 10 moment when they made their first run to the state semis since 1992. Seated 30th, the Warriors pulled off big upsets over Edwardsville, Neuqua Valley, and Naperville Central. But unfortunately, they would come up just short against Marist. To number nine, and to a pair of wrestlers who landed in the top five down at state in 2017. Mason Kronig in the 195 weight class finished as the state runner up, and Nick Sondag in the 220 class finished in fifth. Eight on the list finds us back in 2013 with a racket in our hand with Eric Marbach. With a 29-1 record on the season, he finished with the greatest placement in school history as state runner-up on the tennis courts. Stay in 2013 and also look at 2014 for the seventh best moment. Bing Sing Shumali on the state green putted her way into the second place spot for two years in a row, just behind Neuqua Valley rival Jessica Ewan. Stay with golf, but travel back three years to 2010 for number six. Edging Singh Shamali for the best finish at Wabonzi is Thomas O'Brien, who grabbed the state individual title after two playoff holes against Crystal Lake South's Nick Robles. What a performance on the links in Bloomington. Halfway there, and what better way than to hit the track with number five. The Warriors ran their hardest down at state in 2009 and tied for second which is still the best team finish at the school down in the Blue Oval. A young star on that team won the title was one. More Lakea Kinnison would go on to run the 100 meter dash in 2012 and grab the state title. And then in 2016, she would grab gold in the four by 100 meter relay at the Rio Olympics. Sticking with first place finishers, but moving up that timeline for number four in 2013. Alyssa Giolama swam the 100 breast in the 100 and 200 freestyle in the Athletes with Disability division at the state swimming meet and would grab first in all three. She would also set the state record for the freestyle events. To a sport we haven't seen on the list yet, hockey in 2014. After winning the Illinois West Conference, the Warriors continued their dominance to the combined tournament of the Black Hawk Cup at the United Center, where they defeated Glenbard in quick 3-0 fashion, letting them hoist the cup up for the first time in history. In 2018, the team almost got another taste of being number one, but unfortunately fell to BGHW in the final game. Number two, and we look at 2013 and 2014 together rolling down the alley where Marty Miller coached his girls to back-to-back -back state championships. In 2013, they were 21 pins shy of setting a new state record, and in 2014, the team won by over 200 pins and also held the individual state winner in Julie Bond. We kick it to the pitch for the top moment in Dub V history. Three state titles in four years. What more is there to say? The girls' soccer team hoisted the state trophy in 2007, 2008, and 2010. The team was led by now Red Star standout Vanessa DiBernardo, amongst many other talented soccer players. The 2007 and 2008 teams also combined for 58 games without a loss. I mean, come on, nothing else can compare to that statistic. From the Warriors to the Wildcats, the final Valley School is on deck.